Of waste products. You know, peeing is very important. If you do not pee, all this waste product will stay in your body and you can, you can get sick. Your friend, let me tell you more about this. The urinary system consists of four parts the ki a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra, which leaves. There are three parts in the kidney the cortex the medulla and the renal pelvis which then goes on to become a ureter. The blood enters the kidney via the renal artery over here and after being cleaned, the purified blood leaves the kidney via the renal veins labelled blue. So the right kidney is completely are the functional units of the kidneys. They work by filtering, regulating, and cleaning the blood. They also produce urine and synthesize hormones. Each kidney has about a million nephron. Nephrons are microscopic and they cannot be seen by the naked eye. Nephrons contain tubules that are accompanied by specialized blood vessels. Uh, fluids and solvents uh, move back and forth between the blood vessels and the tubules. So the nephron contains the glomeruli and the renal tubules. The glomeruli has the glomerular capillaries and Bowman's capsule. The tubules are the proximal convoluted tubule, local penny, distal convoluted tubule, collecting tubules, and the collecting ducts. The first step in urine formation is glomerular filtration. Blood reaches the glomerulus through the afferent arteriole. Ultrafiltration takes place here, whereby only substances which are small enough to pass through the filtration membrane will get to pass through into the tubules and become known as ultrafiltrate. The filtered blood then leaves the glomerulus through the efferent arteriole. The ultrafiltrate will then enter the tubules, whereby tubular reabsorption will take place. Important substances like amino acid, water, glucose do get filtered into the tubules. These substances are needed by our body, so they will then enter back from the tubules into the capillaries. Some substances like uric acid do not get filtered, but they still need to be removed from the body. Hence, tubular secretion takes place, whereby these waste substances will enter from the capillaries into the tubules. The final step in urine formation will be concentrating or diluting the urine. This depends on our body's water needs. If the body is dehydrated, antidiuretic hormone will be secreted in order to conserve water. On the other hand, if we have enough water, atrial natriuretic peptide ANP or vasopressin will be secreted which helps in eliminating water. Once the urine has been formed in the kidneys, it will travel through the ureter into the urinary bladder where it will accumulate. The urinary bladder can hold up to from 500 to 1.5 liters of urine. Once it reaches about 500 ml, you will get the urge to pee. That's when urine will pass through the ureter and get excreted out. The urethral opening is under voluntary control, which means you get to control when you want to pee. Well, this is the kidneys. Have you learned about how urine is being made? Yes, we did. That's great. When humans think about their health, they always consider their lungs, their body weight, etc. But sometimes we don't really care or think about our kidneys' health. Kidneys are very important for our survival. They help in removing waste products. We also have been keeping our body in balance when we stay steady. Without them, we can get in a lot of sick conditions. Drugs like painkillers, consumption of alcohol can cause a lot of serious damage to the kidneys. This can go up to the extent that you need to go for transplant. So if in order to avoid that, take good care of the kidneys. You should drink a lot of water, avoid taking painkillers where possible, and try not to drink alcohol. Good. Thank you.